All right, getting hot here in Oklahoma, 115 degree heat index a couple of days ago. And uh, I decided um, I need to put my window air conditioner unit back online. And I'll show you this stuff here in a second. But I just wanted to show you through the door here. You can see the window AC unit right back in there. I got that running on, I got it set for 66 degrees Fahrenheit and basically running full tilt. It's an 8,000 cooling BTU air conditioner that I got last year and it is keeping things cool. And the whole thing is to run that off of all this, you know, battery overnight and then solar panels to recharge during the day and power the loads. And it is working great. And I'll show you the numbers here in a second. So my original battery bank that I bought in 2019 were these four kilovolts, good for rated 14 kilowatt hours. Real world, I can get about 12 out of them. And I had these sitting, you know, over there in the cubby hole. And I decided I'd put them back online and make a 48 volt battery and parallel it into my system to complement the six gun Life Power 4 EG4 battery rack that I paid for using my casino winnings. <laughs> so this is 30 kilowatt hours here, and this is 12 for a total of 42. And overnight usage, uh, I used the Outback Power Optics RE, and it came out to like about 21 kilowatt hours. And then I went over here to the Victron Smart Shunt, and it says consumed amp hours is 377, which works out to about 18 and a half kilowatt hours. I wish this app would show kilowatt hours instead of amp hours. Everything is in amp hours, right? Don't look at that 37 because I forgot to change the battery capacity to 900 amp hours. It's still set on 600, so this is actually off right here. But overnight on the whiz bang, it's showing about 57% state of charge right now. And you look at all the batteries on the EG4s, and that's about right. So these two guys are a couple percentage points within being accurate. I like, I like things to be consistent, you know, kind of saying the same thing. And the same thing goes down here because these are Bluetooth enabled kilovolt batteries and they're saying the same thing around 55% state of charge on all the batteries average. I got two of them that are pretty close and then I got two that are a little bit off but you know the state of charge indication is just kind of like a ballpark figure for the most part. So, you know it's it's not like rocket science and I know some guys are having issues with the battery not resetting and stuff and I just I haven't had any problems thank, thank the you know the good lord above so in a nutshell the purpose of this video is just to show you that now I've got 42 kilowatt hours of lithium batteries here in the garage I got 9,000 watts of solar panels coming in to recharge these dogs and the whole goal is to get about 50 kilowatt hours of harvest in solar power to power loads and charge these batteries back up. And I think I'm going to be able to do it, especially this time of year around solstice. you got so much sun to work with. Installation of these guys, I had to make some new cables. And I got these uh, silicone battery lug condoms on here to, you know, keep from... You know making contact and these worked out really good these are like 11 bucks for a two pair so I had to buy a couple of them and this DC voltmeter is the one I had on there before and the volts are within three one hundredths of each other on the two battery banks the, the EG4 and this battery here system so these things are they're they're playing well together is what I'm trying to get at and I used two watt welding cable. Had to make some new copper ends and just tied it in parallel 
on the correct side. You see the shunt, this is on the, the battery side over here. Then you got shunt and shunt for, for readings. So it can read the total on both of these um, parameters. Then over here, for the kilovolts, this is a Blue Sea Systems marine battery switch. I can just turn off the kilovolts when I need to, right there. And I, I used to have, if you remember, a 250 amp fuse right there. But you really don't need it. Um, I don't need it because there's a circuit breaker on the circuit going up into the disco box right here. And as you know, with these modern batteries, they're BMS controlled. I mean, you can't hurt them. I mean, over voltage, under voltage, over temperature, under temperature, it's all protected. So if you screw up and, you know, cross the stream, like in Ghostbusters, um, you're not gonna, you'll, you'll be a lot better than a lead acid battery created like an arc welder effect kind of thing is what I'm trying to get at. So in a nutshell, not having a fuse on there is no big deal. So I had a four post bus bar from Blue Seas that I had, uh, I, had I had a new cover, but I had the, that's the original four one that I had on here before, just cleaned it up. And that right there in the middle is a copper bus going directly into the switch there, which worked out freaking perfect. That way I don't have to use a piece of wire and two lug ends. Just use a piece of freaking copper, all right? So everything is just freaking singing along happily. Uh, as long as you have sun and you have solar power, you're good to go. This is the best it's ever looked, it's ever run. Got tons of, this is just compared to last year. Last year I just had, you know, 12 kilowatt hours in battery. Now I got 42. Last year I had like 7,000, no, 5,000 watts in solar panels with those old Renegies, which I sold all of them. And now I've got a 9,000 watt array coming in. So I'm getting like 6,800 watts effective, you know, at solar noon coming in, which is tons of power. And they're set for spring and fall angles. So this time of the year, it's not like the perfect angle, but it's plenty of angle. So there you have it. There you have it. Hopefully this inspires you with your solar creation. This is a a grid assist off-grid kind of system I don't sell back power I just store it <laughs> and use it great for a power outage is great for just doing what I'm doing right now just an autonomous system batteries get too low the outback switches back to grid power and it just works like a refrigerator you know like a stove you just expect it to work and work every single time so just keep them cool keep them clean you know general maintenance and that's about it all right thanks for watching i don't want to make this a 50 15 minute long video explaining my new you know add these back online here battery bank so all right see ya thanks for watching